on here just to make a quick video today, guys. I am going to be flipping this wicker entryway table. There is some damage on it and the color is just not exactly what I want it to be. So I always recommend spray painting a wicker, but I don't have any. So I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm winging it, totally figuring this out as I go. Let's get started by cleaning up some of the damage. If you can see down here, we've got some peeling off pieces. So I'm just gonna grab some scissors and clean it up. You really just wanna get as close as you can and just clean up all of these little pieces. Now, I don't really know if this is necessary, but it can't hurt. I'm gonna take my 120 sandpaper and I'm just gonna kind of scuff up the surface. I really want this paint to stick and sanding is how you're gonna ensure that that happens. I am going to sand the top and all the legs, every bit of piece, every tiny bit, every piece of bit that will be painted, I'm going to sand. So far, so good. I have got it sanded. Now I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. I just wanna make sure I'm not getting any dirt, any hairs, as you can see, I have quite the mane and hairs will probably be getting in this paint. So I'm just gonna give it a clean top to bottom. I'm probably gonna retrim some of the pieces that sanding brought back up. Very hard to do this one-handed. I'm just gonna give it a really good deep clean and then we can move on to the next step. sanding emphasized a little bit again these things are hard to do while filming but you get the idea I'm just gonna get it as close as I can and this is wicker or yeah I guess it's wicker so it's not unusual to have some little frayed pieces and whenever I sell this I'll just make sure the buyer is aware of it all right let's move on to my favorite part painting all right so I'm gonna be using a beige on this one I want it to be a natural looking wicker. Black wicker looks great too, but again, I wanna sell this as a boho look. So I've got it completely prepped. I am definitely not going to shake this, stir it. You always stir and never shake. Okay. And I'm gonna use my super strong pickle jar opening skills to get in here. Don't want any old paint falling on it. Okay. So I am going to use my zebra brush, Z-I-B-R-A, because this is a great brush for wicker because I want to be getting in all of these little spots. So let's get started. Again, I typically spray paint wicker, but I don't have the right shade. Of course, a plane is going to go over right as I'm talking. I'm just going to gently go back and forth. And wow, that's actually working probably better than spray paint. I like this color on here. Awesome. Whenever it comes to wicker, it can be really difficult to seal it once it's painted. So I don't typically recommend this, but I am going to be using spray sealer because wax is going to be very difficult to remove once you've put it on. And polycrylic is going to be hard to get in all of those little nooks and crannies. So I am just going to be using this gently going over it. This seems like it's going to be sticking very, the paint is going to stick very, very well. So I'm not super concerned about durability, but this can't hurt. Now I've got it sealed. I'm gonna do a scratch test. Nope, that paint is not going anywhere. Rub it, we are good to go. Because I'm listing this as a boho piece, I add some boho decor, stage it inside so you can really see the color of the piece. Now I am done. I just need to take a great picture. I have my light in here, which helps it really show the true color because I have had issues with that in the past. And I'm gonna take a picture, include the measurements, the condition of the item, list it on Facebook Marketplace and some Facebook groups, and of course my Instagram, and I'll be good to go.